Baker Mayfield's career has been the true definition of a roller coaster so far. It's been up, it's been down, and currently, he's still in his biggest down of his career. Will he come back, or will he fizzle out just like every number one pick that the Browns have taken? Baker Mayfield started his career as a true underdog, walking on to Texas Tech as a true freshman in the 2013 season. Soon after, he became the first ever true freshman walk-on quarterback to start week one in an FBS opener. In his first start against SMU, Mayfield passed for 400 plus yards, four touchdowns, and 43 completions, being the record for an FBS freshman quarterback to have in his first career start. Mayfield started the season off hot with 755 yards and six touchdowns, but in the end, the roller coaster did go down with Baker Mayfield getting a knee injury and having his starting job taken by Davis Webb. This was pretty crushing for Baker Mayfield, who gave his all and played like the best freshman quarterback truly to be as a walk-on as good as he was. He finished that season with 2,315 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, 9 picks, and 3 rushing touchdowns. Truly wasn't a bad season for a freshman, and he really wasn't given a chance to succeed in Texas Tech. He soon transferred after a miscommunication with the coaching staff. Not really a surprise when you have Cliff Kingsbury as your head coach. After that short stint with the Texas Tech Red Raiders, he then transferred in 2014 where he was ineligible to play, so he sat the 2014 season out. In 2015, he took the starting job and really never looked back. He passed for 131 touchdowns, 30 picks, total of 14,607 passing yards, ran for 1,000, ran for 21 touchdowns, and won arguably the biggest list of awards I've seen in my time. Heisman Trophy in 2017, the Manning Award in 2017, Maxwell Award in 2017, Walter Camp Award in 2017, Davey O'Brien Award in 2017, Chick Harley Award in 2017, two-time Kellen Moore Award winner 2015, 2016, two-time Burlesworth Trophy 2015, 2016, AP College Football Player of the Year 2017, two-time Sporting News Player of the Year 2015 and 2017, won the Sugar Bowl MVP in 2017, two-time Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year in 2015. And 2017, Big 12 Offensive Freshman of the Year 2013, two-time first-time All-American 2015-2017, three-time first-team All-Big 12 2015 through 17. Catch up with all that? Good, because he is one of the best college quarterbacks to ever grace the game. His NFL career, however... With the first pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Baker Mayfield. His college career did award him the number one overall pick in the 2018 draft. Going into the draft, the Cleveland Browns had a lot of options at quarterback. A lot were thinking Sam Darnold. A lot were even thinking Josh Allen. But really, it, it was a consensus. It was either Baker Mayfield or Sam Darnold. Or even Saquon at that point. Some were saying take Saquon and then take a quarterback with the fourth overall pick. Which many would have believed it would have been Baker Mayfield. But anyways, they took Baker with the number one overall pick and shocked the world. It truly was a boom or bust pick. Going into his rookie year, he didn't start till week three until Hugh Jackson put him in for an injured Tyrod Taylor. The Browns were down 14-0 and many believed the Browns losing streak was going to continue. Mayfield went 17 for 23 passing, however, for 201 yards and came back to win 21 to 17, ending the winless streak at 19 games, truly winning over the Cleveland fan base and one of the only quarterbacks really to win the fan base over. And it really did last for about three more years. Mayfield became the first player ever since Fran Tarkenton in 1961 to come off the bench in his debut, throw for more, hundred, more than 200 yards, and lead his team to the first win of the season. Mayfield's college success seemed to have been translating well to the NFL. He had one of the best quarterback seasons for a rookie in the history of the NFL, passing for over 3,725 yards, 27 touchdown passes, which was a record at the time, and 14 interceptions, rushing for over 131 yards, but no touchdowns. One of the best seasons by a rookie quarterback ever, and probably should have run one rookie of the year if Saquon wasn't so darn good. In 2019, however, the Browns were going through a lot of turmoil with the head coaching position, hiring Freddie Kitchens, 
who many believe Baker had a lot of say in. However, we're not going to blame him for it as there are no significant reports telling us that he wanted, wanted Freddie Kitchens, if you know what I mean. So Freddie Kitchens comes in after a year of only maybe calling plays for Greg Williams' offense, and that's about it. And he showed his inexperience in his year, going 6-10, running one of the worst systems that really has ever been run in the league. Mayfield did not succeed in this offense. He did throw for 3,827 yards, but passed for 22 touchdowns and a staggering 21 interceptions. That's insane. It was the biggest drop-offs for a sophomore season I think I've ever seen a rookie quarterback take. But this was really the point in Baker Mayfield's career where we thought that this was his lowest low. What's going to happen next? Well, Freddie Kitchens is inevitably fired. And one of the best coaches in Cleveland Browns history is inevitably hired the next year, Kevin Stefanski. Going into the year, no expectations for the Browns. Many believe that, oh, it's just a, another good roster that has a bad culture that can't win with the roster they have. Similar feel to how it's going into this year, but that's besides the point. The Browns went 11-5, and the best season since they became an expansion team and took over for the Ravens spot. 3,563 passing yards, 26 touchdowns, 8 picks, a career low of picks, by the way. 95-9 passer, passer rating here, 165 rushing yards, and a touchdown. And leading the Browns to their first ever playoff win. Winning the game 48-37 to and really could have made it to the AFC Championship game if it weren't for an illegal hit to the helmet by Dan Sorensen. But we're not going to get into that. It's just another one of Baker Mayfield's what-ifs. After the 2020 season, some say that the highest peak of a roller coaster leads to the biggest drop-off. And I wouldn't say it's the biggest drop-off of his career, but man, 2021 was a disappointment. It started off okay with the first two games, but against the Texans... Mayfield throws and gets picked off, and on the interception, the return is coming back. I think it's Justin Reed. Baker Mayfield tries to make the tackle... And Mayfield takes the worst of it. He tries to run after a pick that he threw, and he goes down with a dislocated shoulder. We don't think much of this when he comes back in and finishes the win off, putting the Browns at 1-1 one and one on the year. Baker was thought to have just a dislocated shoulder, and that's it. But truly, he didn't have just a dislocated shoulder. He tore his labrum. And that probably is where he should have shut himself down. But no, Baker wanted to play. He kept on playing until they lost a few games in a row, and now they're playing the Cardinals, the Red Hot 5-0 Cardinals. He goes in, the Browns get absolutely blown out, and J.J. Watt basically makes the shoulder worse by an awkward sack. Now this is the point where you'd think that Baker Mayfield is going to shut himself down, but no. He still wants to keep on playing, and it didn't turn out well. Obviously, the 2021 season ended really poorly. 6-8 and record as a starter, 3,010 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 13 picks. Underwhelming to say the least. So Cleveland is desperate at this point for a quarterback. And they start shopping for quarterbacks. And Baker Mayfield sees this and inevitably says goodbye before the Browns even say goodbye. He knows that they want a quarterback like Deshaun Watson and he wants out. Could be a little bit controversial because the Browns still did have a good roster and still wanted to keep him on the roster. But, you know, if you're a quarterback and the other team is looking for quarterbacks, you know, you might not want to play for them. So Baker Mayfield gets out, traded to Carolina for a fifth-round pick. And that went horrible for him, let's just say that. 1-5 in five record with Carolina to start off the year, loses his starting job to, to Sam Darnold, and inevitably is released after six games. The worst six-game stint by a Browns quarterback, and it's not Deshaun Watson. 1,300 yards, 6 touchdowns, 6 picks. It was awful. But he signs with L.A. It can't get much worse from here now. So what's he going to do? He's going to come in on his first ever start and go on a 98-yard game-winning drive to win the game for the L.A. Rams. That really did revitalize his career and show NFL GMs that he's still there. The numbers don't look too flashy in LA. He went one and three, had four touchdowns and two picks, but he really did show that he still has a little bit of an NFL starter in him. That all brings us to today with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady has retired. He's had enough after 23 years. And Baker Mayfield is the guy they're calling to replace him. 
It's Kyle Trask and it's Baker Mayfield, and it's a competition to see who can start for one of the best rosters in the league aside from quarterback. It's the worst quarterback room consensusly in the league, but Baker Mayfield, as he's proved in Cleveland and Oklahoma, he's one of the best quarterbacks to ever play college football and one of the rookie best rookie quarterbacks ever to play NFL football. If he could put together his potential, he sure can ball out with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's just got to stay humble. That's all he's got to do. The second he gets cocky is the second he will fail in this league and go back to being a backup. It's a make-or-break year for the Heisman Trophy winner. It's his opportunity to shut down the haters. Everyone forgot about him, but he has a chance to make everyone remember. Baker Mayfield, it's time to get off this inconsistency roller coaster and start walking up the hill of being a dominant starter in this league. Thank you for watching this video for Toss the Mic Sportscast. It's only the first of our feature-length 10-minute long videos, so subscribe for more. We've got plenty more on the way, plenty more podcasts. We have a podcast, just so you know, for the, the new viewers watching. Anywhere you get your podcast, toss the mic sportscast. That's all you got to look up. We talk sports every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central Time on Radio GBX. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and have a great day, fellas.